Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to the channel. This is a thank you video. I am thanking someone for sending me this beautiful book. I had seen this once on um, YouTube somewhere <laughs> and I loved the book. I loved the uh, illustrations in here and I thought I would go ahead and do a little flip through for you and kind of give you a little bit of information about it before uh, I start coloring in it so you understand what the book is. Now the title of this is, well the whole book is Polish, um, Polish author. Her name is Anna Mary C. Neska. I'm not sure if I got that correct. <laughs> These little words here means um, Slavic stories, Slavic uh, stories. So there are stories inside the book here. The title of this is its straight translation is Today We Carry After the Forest. So it's um, the stories in the book, which you will see when we get into here, are um, rather lengthy in the beginning. They're all in Polish, so you would have to translate them unless you're fortunate enough to speak the language which I'm not, so translation uh, I do on Google, and it does uh, go through a lot of the stories in here. So again, here we have the uh, front cover. You can color this page. This paper here is a uh, medium weight, um, probably would take watercolor uh, gently. Um, it, the pictures are, I believe, single-sided. We have to get to that section. So you could probably use your um, water brush, pens, watercolors, Copic markers, as long as you put a piece of paper behind here so the stuff doesn't bleed through to the next page. Um, colored pencils, of course, and all that stuff. So we'll get into this just a little bit so you can see what I mean by a full length storybook on top of the um, artistic parts. So we got a cute little owl here holding a sign, and I did not stick that one in translation, so I'm not sure what this sign says. This is just the um, copyright information on this side. And then we get into our um, talking about s the forest, the animals, the plants, trees, waterfalls, homes, and... Um, mythological, or I guess fairy type animals and fairies that live inside their fair forests. And it just goes on to explain um, all about the life inside a forest and in trees. So you go through quite a bit of this. I do have a few of these translated, but I did not put them on my computer to read. But it talks about um, how we should all take care of our forests and wetlands and understand that, uh, you know, the whole continent needs these particular places. So it kind of reminds you on how we should be taking care of our planet on top with taking care of everything else that we are in charge of, I guess we could say. So it uh, does talk about homes and waters and trees and what lives in these items. So there is a lot of um, storylines here. <laughs> so it also tells you a little bit about the artists that do the pictures in here. Okay, so there is a lot to go through at the beginning of the book. And like I said, I um, started translating it, and then I will end up reading it all, but I can't read it all on camera <laughs> because this would take forever for me to do. But I mean, in your time, your own time, you could go through and do that if you like. Um, some of these pictures are in the back of the book here. This kind of gives you some information on it. So if you were interested in that particular picture, you could come back and read about it. 
So you go through quite a few of these pages and we'll get to um, the coloring book part. Okay, so there are 57 uh, stories here, or 57 pages worth of stories, I should say. And then you get little illustrations in between them so you could color those. The illustrations are also in the coloring book section here. So on page 59, we start with a little introduction here, a little coloring or something you can color here. And then we get into the color book section. And there are little lines here. So if you want to cut the paper out, you would have a nice little um, page to frame if you like. So I think I can get um, the whole thing in here. You get the information of the um, author or I guess it's an author of the page <laughs> and uh, a little bit of information about the page itself. So here we have the trees and we got little mushrooms and everybody with the two little kids running through the forest here and the trees, some happy, some not so happy to see them. <laughs> and like I said, they are on um, single sides over here. So if you wanted to use any kind of medium on here, you can, as long as you remember to put something behind it so it won't bleed into the next beautiful image they have because there are some gorgeous images in here. I mean, I just love the trunk of the tree. <laughs> I like the bird. I like the, you know, I, mean, I like the whole picture, but that trunk is what draws me. Here we have a little frog with a mushroom. A little uh, frog down here playing with a little uh, uh, fairy down there at the bottom. And I mean, every single one of these you can find different things in. We've got two characters here. We're looking down into the, uh, like the tree trunk. We've got a couple down here. We've got coffee cups or teacups, a little bed down in here. A little latch on the tree itself to keep it closed. It's really cool. And in this tree we have people living down underneath it with a couple of bunny rabbits. So. I mean, they're just neat. It's going to be hard to figure out which one to color in first. Here we have the uh, bunch of little ants here with their little helmets on, carrying a little bubble. Inside the bubble is a whole little village. Trees, and there's a sun or a moon here, depending on which time of day you want it, and tree lines, water underneath. I mean, it's, it's amazing, these pictures. This looks like a bird's nest, and this was the picture I pointed out, reading a story to the little animals in the bed. Here yeah, we've got some little grumpy dudes here, and we got a little happy good dude that she's holding. That looks like they're playing hide and seek almost. A little snail on there, a little spider. But each one of these has got a lot of little details in it that you can get to like this little beetle with the little face on it. It's just so cute. <laughs> little beetles. I'm going to have a lot of fun coloring in this one. And the little artwork in here is just I like the little lines that come down and do the shading and little dots that come up and do the shading. This one's really pretty. Little mushrooms here. I mean, it's just makes me happy when I see all the pictures. <laughs> this is the one I pointed out with the um, honeycomb. You got the bees, and just the composition of this is really cool. And this one is like my favorite. I'm sorry. We got a little snail. We've got all the little dots, the pointism in here, all the little ferns coming up. It's gorgeous. And we've got a little guy coming out from the stalk of, uh, and I'm going to say that's corn. Little bunny rabbit over here and a hedgehog. The little field mice. <laughs> Oh, and this one's just gorgeous. She's like Mother Earth here or something with the, her hair meshes in with the treetops. The tree and the land are her clothing. Her arms in the water. I mean, watercolored, that would 
be just mm, gorgeous. Here we have this one with the little leaf with the little water droplet, the bird coming down. The water droplets like coming off of the hair. Just, this is all so cool. And we have the animal here with the antlers and in his antlers are little animals living. Just sweet. Playing the uh, spider web like a harp. And this one, I think, but I didn't read it. I'm assuming that we are to finish the um, critters with our own imagination. <laughs> the tree. It's all the little things inside of it. Oh, he's just gorgeous, too flying way above. We've got the planet down here. And then the little guy here at the end. And then again you have a little description here of something that I didn't read. <laughs> and uh, we've got a couple of web pages and um, Facebook page to um, this go. Yep. <laughs> and down at the end of the book, we also have some other books published, I believe, by the same publisher. So there are three of those. And you can use any of these um, pages in the back. This is a <laughs> biography. I'm guessing. These are the artists' names, I believe. But you can use any of these to test out your uh, colored pencils with, too, if you don't mind scribbling on some of these pages, or this one here, just to test to make sure nothing bleeds through. So, thanks, you guys, for uh, sitting through and looking through the book. And I want to thank... Um, don't know if I should say her name or not, but I want to thank you very much for sending me this. I really appreciate it. It's a beautiful book, and I will enjoy coloring in it. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching again. Bye now.